My words, my soul, are the witness of once of all might, whose glorification cannot be described in words. With pleasure and immense gratitude, I do welcome you, Reverend Sister Mary Paula, to our school visitation. Attention! God of honor, spirit, Mehman ke liye general salute, salute! to invoke God's choicest blessing to our unique talents. Namo Satya Swarupa Deva Namo Bhattara Bhagya Namo Prabhu Dayavanta Pujipi Ninna Nama
allow ourselves to be invaded by His fire so as to communicate in our good deeds. Thank you, friends, for invoking God's blessings. Warmest and best wishes that this visitation experience will cause that the fire that the Spirit deposited in us strengthen our faith in His promise and enable us to wholeheartedly welcome His invitation to arise and set out on our journey. On this special occasion, it's my pleasure to invite our dear friend, Faraz Ahmed, to welcome our special guest and gathering. Over to you. Good morning, everyone. Wish you all a very prosperous Happy New Year 2024. New is the year, new are the hopes, new is the resolution, new are the spirits, and new are my warm wishes just for you. A smile is the universal welcome, quoted by Max Eastman. A warm and graceful morning to everyone gathered here. Our school is known for its rich history and reputation for academic excellence. We have a strong tradition of providing our students with a high quality education. And we are proud of the many achievements that we have received over the years. However, we all know that to grow and improve as a school, we must always be open to new ideas and perspectives. Good school leadership should have a strong focus on continued development. This starts with leaders growing their own skills and knowledge through a commitment to professional development and personal health and well-being. I, Faraz of Grade 8, take this golden opportunity to stand before you all on behalf of our school management and students to welcome our distinguished very guest, Reverend Sister Mary Paula, General Counselor, the former provincial superior of Bangalore province and also served as the superior of Nazareth convent in two terms. The former correspondent of Nazareth school Balmata and also professional social worker in France. Sister Mary Paula was the former superior and correspondent of Nazareth convent Balmata. Sister has been a social worker to promote student learning and well-being, address academic and non-academic barriers of learning, develop comprehensive academic and social supports understand and apply diverse frameworks as a counselor. It is with great excitement that we gather here today to welcome you, Sister. I now request our Principal Reverend Sister Marceline de Souza to honor our distinguished guest with a bouquet of flowers. It is our request, Sister Alfonso Selin, to give the token of gift as a love and gratitude. It's my honor to welcome a superior of Nazareth Convent and the correspondent of Nazareth School, Reverend Sister Alfonso Selin. Your presence is a source of inspiration and encouragement for us. Your support to school is bound to achieve many greater excellence, make tremendously progress in overall development. Hearty welcome to you, sister. Now I request our school head boy, Master Samprit, to present a rose to our sister, Alfonso Selene. Thank you, Samprit. We are honored to have a dynamic personality. Our beloved principal, Reverend Sister Marceline de Souza, who motivates and guides all the teachers, students, and parents. She has given us the power to make our dreams reality and given the firm foundation for all young minds. A warm and heartfelt welcome to you, sister. Now, I request a school head girl, Miss Priyona, to present a rose to our beloved principal. Thank you, Priyona. A warm welcome to our dear sister, Vincy who is a strong pillar who works tirelessly to run the institution. Your presence is a source of constant inspiration, enlightenment, and encouragement to all of us, including the students, the staff, and the non-teaching staff. Now, I request Samprit to present a rose to our dear sister, Vincy. Hearty welcome to our dear sister, Elizabeth, who smoothly handles the finance department of the school. She is another strong pillar who makes sure all the students' needs are met with utmost care. Now, I request Priyona to present a rose to our dear sister Elizabeth. Yeah. 
I take great honor to welcome our dear teachers who work endlessly to shape young lives and make them good citizens for society. I also extend my warm welcome to all the students who have gathered here to welcome our dear sister. Once again, a warm welcome and a very happy new year 2024 to everyone gathered here. Thank you. There is no greater freedom than that of allowing oneself to be guided by the divine spirit, renouncing the attempt to plan and control everything, and instead letting him enlighten, guide, and direct us, leading us wherever he wills. Thank you, dear Faraz, for welcoming all of us wholeheartedly. It's precisely in the light of the world that we can reintegrate our own history. Even in the darkest moments, the light of hope can be rekindled. Our students have incredible qualities and talents to show you. Without waiting, put your hands together to welcome them.
friends, it was very melodious and heartwarming. Yoga is essentially a spiritual discipline based on extremely subtle science which focuses on bringing harmony between mind and body. It is an art and science for healthy living. India is a country with numerous varied civilizations, linguistic groups and religious traditions. I'm so happy you're here and that I have the opportunity to share this space with you. I'm excited to step on the mat together and have a magical practice. It's my wish that you will always feel welcome here. joy of yoga and its importance. Thank you for making this event a memorable one. Next, witness the sheer discipline, coordination and power of our karate display by the determined students of our school. Their performance is a testament to their skill, dedication and training. Now, it's time to see a dynamic performance by our children. Let's join our hands to welcome them.
by this performance do show your appreciation remember every clap every cheer is a testament to the spirit of sportsmanship and camaraderie i think our audiences need a little life up now exactly what if we give them a tiny bit of music dance and they dressed up gorgeously and colorful things i hope you got enough hints over to you this stage to perform your talents
buddies of Nazareth. You broke the stumps on stage. The performance was so energetic that the claps and hooting just didn't seem to end. A big round of applause for the performers. Hi friends, what do you think about champions? Well, according to me, a champion isn't made of muscles. A champion is made of heart. Oh, that's very thoughtful. It's now the time to honor our winners. May I now request our distinguished guest, very Reverend Sister Mary Paula, and our principal, Reverend Sister Marceline de Souza, to honor the winners. And I request Mrs. Preeti K to call out the names of the winners. Over to you, dignitaries. All are born to win. But to be a real winner, one must plan to win, prepare to win, and expect to win, as cited by Zig Ziglar. Winning and losing are the two faces of a coin, but never accept failure without trying it. Also, a piece of advice I would like to give for all the students who want to win prizes like the ones given out today. Don't just work for the prizes. I repeat, don't just work for the prizes. Instead, make yourself deserving of them. Now, in this point of juncture, I would like to call upon the outstanding students for the general proficiency in the academic year 2022-23. So, for, from grade 1A, I would like to call upon Aiza Fatima. Children, give her a big round of applause. Grade first B, Shriya L. Grade second A, Sayan S. Bangera. Grade second B, Rishan Danapal Bangera. Grade third A, Navish C. Menden. Third B, Levin Joe Alex. Fourth A, Lakshya L. Fourth B, Yes, Drishti Bandari. Fifth A, Shaurya J. Shetty. Fifth B, Krupa D. Sixth A, Advit G A. Sixth B, Izan Arshad Abdullah. Seventh A, Gavin Daniel Nazrat. Seventh B, Krishiv Prashanta Kumar. A Deepa D. Eight B K Sindura Holla. Ninth A Taisha. And from 9th B, Kushi SM. 7th. I'm very much delighted to announce Nazrat Scientist Award. So, Asad Mufid Ur Rahman from Grade 3A has nailed it. So, I would like to call him to the stage and receive this award.
And from 10th B, we have Michelle Pearl de Souza as Nazareth Scientist Award. I would like her to receive it from the guest. Now, moving on to the cultural competitions, from grade 3rd A, Anvita P. Shetty has bagged first place in collage making and dance. Varshan M. Suvarna has nailed first place in flower arrangement. Ekanksha S. has bagged first place in fancy dress. Moving on to third B, Pearl Jesslyn Montero has bagged first place in flower arrangement, poem recitation and speech. Mayuri S. Shetty has bagged first place in traditional fashion show, singing and dance. Sayan S. Bangera has got first place in clay modeling. Alston Jake de Souza has earned first place in science exhibition. Muhammad Kian in drawing. Rion Prishal Punit in regard before you discard. Manvi C. Rai for jewellery making. Muhammad Nubaid for fancy dress. Moving on to grade 4th A. Awa Niaf has earned first in drawing, first in speech and first in dance. Hardik B. Pawa in collage making and fancy dress. Trisha D.K. in poem recitation and clay modeling. Aish Allen Narona in flower arrangement and jewelry making. Mohammad Ali in science exhibition. Moving on to grade 4th B, Shadrish Christopher Satish has earned first place in traditional fashion show and singing. Riola Lisha de Souza in flower arrangement. Mrinali Shetty for science exhibition. Sohan CK for regard before you discard. Lisa Gian Pinto for fancy dress. Dhriti Amin for clay modeling. I think she is absent. Tahira Salha Sajid for dance. Moving on to grade 5th A, Abhinav P has backed first in science exhibition. Lakshya L for clay modeling. Saksham S. Kanchan for flower arrangement. Fatima Raifa for traditional fashion show.
Abdul Kader Shayan dance. Srihan Harisha for fancy dress. From grade 5th B, Pranati Rao B is nailed first in drawing, first in collage making and in speech. Yes, Drishti Bandari has nailed first in jewellery making, clay modelling and singing. Laksh for singing and fancy dress. Sharav Shetty for regard before you discard. Sanvi Kiran for dance. Alita Jocelyn Fernandez for flower arrangement. Janvi V. Salyan for poem recitation. Sanvi A. in science exhibition. From grade 6A, Atriya Thakur has nailed first in poetry writing, first in cooking without fire and jewellery making. Katija Rimsha for drawing. Natanya Jaslyn D'Souza for collage making. Rishon Theo Sanctus for fancy dress. Kristen John Fernandez for science exhibition. Fatima Rimsha has nailed first in traditional fashion show. K. Vishak Acharya has got first in dance. Samik Shu first in clay modeling. Moving on to grade 6th B. Nirja Shetty has grasped first in regard before your discard and cooking without fire. Kripa D for speech and clay modeling. Stacy Maria Alvera for dance. Stalson Sam De Souza for fancy dress. Chirag Manohara Suvarna has got first in singing. Samarth Sairaj, first in science exhibition. From 7th A, Lakshan M. Suvarna for regard before you discard. Chavan S, first in poetry writing. Izan Arshad Abdullah, first in cooking without fire. Shishir S. Anshin, first in clay modeling. Moidin Shayan, first in science exhibition. Sohan Henry Pereira, first in singing.
Manushri P, first in dance. Aisha Shaimun Sharif, first in fancy dress. Moving on to 7th B, Advit Ji He has grabbed first in collage making in speech, traditional fashion show and fancy dress and dance. Anish Alton Noronha has bagged first in cooking without fire and jewelry making. Rishma has got first in drawing. I think she's absent. Amrit R is packed first in science exhibition. Sheikh Mohammed Ayman first in science exhibition. Tanvish S. Rai first in clay modeling. Moving on to grade 8A, Razan Farao has grabbed first in collage making, first in cooking without fire, jewelry making, dance, fancy dress, traditional fashion show and singing and also science exhibition. Gavin Daniel Nazrat has bat first in speech. Fatima Azad Afshan first in drawing. Ria Dwina Lobo, first in clay modeling. Krishiv Prashanta Kumar, first in science exhibition. From grade 8B, Sohan Kumar has nailed first in poetry writing, regard before you discard, and clay modeling and science exhibition too. Katija Ishka has got first in cooking without fire. Andrea de Souza has got first in cooking without fire. Riva Velani Krasta first in dance. <laughs> Moving out to grade 9A, K. Sindura Hulla is nailed first in cooking without fire and singing. Rian Claire de Souza has got first in poetry writing. Stuti S. Shetty has got first in regard before you discard. Kartik HK has got first in science exhibition. From 9th B, Deepa D has grasped first in jewelry making, speech and clay modeling. Pranav Rao B has got first in collage making and traditional fashion show. Bhavish V. Salyan has got first in cooking without fire. Elroy Sylvester Lobo has got first in science exhibition. From grade 10th A, we have Gagan Kumar, who is nailed first in traditional fashion show, singing and clay modeling. Ishan Sachin Shetty has got first in science exhibition and regard before you discard. Zubia Fatima has got first in cooking without fire, but she is absent. From 10th B, Rishit R has placed first in collage making and jewelry making. Michelle Paul de Souza has got first in speech.
Kushi SM has got first in cooking without fire. Deshaun Prion de Souza has got first in poetry writing. And lastly, Sarah Asgar has got first in speech. Thank you, sister, for honoring us, students. And children, I request everybody to give a round of applause for all the winners. And a very all the best for all of you to earn prizes and have the spirit in you. Thank you. Over to you, Marisha. With prizes. Let us now call upon Reverend Sister Vincy Vergas to introduce our Honorable Chief Guest, Very Reverend Sister Mary Paula, to the audience. It is my great pleasure to introduce our Chief Guest, Reverend Sister Mary Paula FSM, a true leader, visionary and missionary. By the dint of her personality, she has made significant contribution to the FSM family and at large to the society. And whose presence here today is a privilege and joy for all of us. Sister Mary Paula hails from Mangalore. She did her higher studies in Doshni Nilaya. I am privileged to say she was my formator who molded the young ones. She had served as an animator in Nasrath Convent and correspondent of Nasrath School. She is not unknown person to the school. Every brick of the school building will speak of her tireless service. She was provincial councillor. Later, she was provincial who brought about remarkable changes in the history of the Bangalore province. At present, she is a general counselor for two terms, who also serves the marginalized and refugees in Paris. We are truly honored by your presence today, and we are thrilled to have you to share the momentous occasion with us. And your words of wisdom and encouragement will undoubtedly motivate our students and instill in them great values of hard work and dedication. We are in a very significant location. Let us feel very close to our Mother General Consular, very Reverend Sister Mary Paula. May it be for all of us an experience of peace, trust and hope days in which we give wings to our dream. Words may inspire, but action creates the change. It's our privilege to call upon our distinguished guest, very Reverend Sister Mary Paula to deliver her message. Over to you, dear sister. Thank you. Uh, Celine, the correspondent and the superior of the convent, Sister Marceline, the principal of the Nazareth Central School, and dear sisters, all of you teaching and non-teaching staff, and above all, my dear little children. As sisters already introduced me, I am not a stranger to this place. And today it is my greatest joy to be present with you at the beginning of this new year 2024. And I wish all of you a very bright, joyful, su su successful, New Year 2024. May God's abundant blessings upon you all, your families, near and dear ones, as also upon this institution. Today I am happy to see the progress of this school. I am sure the hard labor of our pioneers has brought success and we are on the way the progress which contributes to our society to our country to our nation i wish every child who passes out of this school 
not only being successful on academic level, but be a responsible citizen of this country that's bringing joy and be making proud this institution as you being educated, as you are being educated and passing out of this institution for your higher studies as also for your parents, you are a great joy if you become successful not only on academic level but as you have demonstrated your talents, your various activities which are being encouraged by the staff and school in this place. I wish that you utilize every opportunity that comes in your way during this precious time of your life and then become really a strength to your families, to all, to wherever you go, whatever you become in future and thus bringing success not only to yourself, to your families, to the institution, but being a great citizen of this, our great country. I thank all of you, particularly the teaching staff who take a lot of pain and uh, time to mold these young minds. Congratulations to you all who have done your best. I can see there's a lot of progress and it is because of you, my dear teachers, the staff, starting from the principal, I don't mention everyone's name, but I know it is your planning, your foreseeing, your foresight, and that all that you wish that this, these children benefit as long as they are with us, as also in, the fu in their future life. Thank you one and all. May God bless you. May this new year bring you joy, peace and happiness and success in all that you do. May God's abundant blessings be upon each one of you. And thank you. The Lord has given us immense grace of a vocation. And we have the promise of the Lord that he is with us through our very reverend sister, Mary Paula. We are ever indebted of your words of inspiration and appreciation. Thank you, Mother Superior, for your kind gesture. As a token of love, we request our dynamic principal, Reverend Sister Marceline de Souza, to hand over memento to very Reverend Sister Mary Paula. Once a great man whispered, feeling thankfulness and not expressing it is like wrapped in a present and not giving it. Thank you is such a prayer that cannot be seen or touched. It must be felt by heart. I now request Ria Lobo to propose the vote of thanks. Quoting the wisdom of Den Henry, Gratitude is the fairest blossom that springs from the soul. Today we stand here deeply grateful for the blossom of inspiration and support we have experienced. Our heartfelt thanks to each one of you who has made this occasion truly special. I, Ria, on behalf of Nazareth School, extend heartfelt gratitude to our distinguished guest, very reverend sister Mary Paula, the general counselor FSM, for gracing us with her presence during this memorable visit. Your presence has not only left an indelible mark on our school community, but has also inspired us with your profound words of encouragement. We are truly privileged to have this shared, this enriching experience with you. And we express our sincere appreciation for the valuable insights you have provided. Your support is a beacon guiding us towards continued excellence in education. Thank you, sister. A special expression of appreciation goes to our respected principal, Reverend Sister Marcelin de Souza, and the correspondent, Reverend Sister Alfonso Celine, for their unwavering commitment to fostering a learning environment of excellence. Your leadership has been instrumental in shaping the positive trajectory of our school. Thank you, sisters. We also extend our sincere thanks to all the guests who joined us today. 
Your presence has added significance to this occasion and we are grateful for the support and encouragement you have shared. To our diligent and dedicated teaching and non-teaching staff, enthusiastic students and supportive parents, thank you for making this event a resounding success. Your enthusiasm and cooperation have contributed to the warmth and hospitality extended to our esteemed guest. Let us carry forward the spirit of collaboration and learning that we have fostered today. In closing, let these words resonate in our hearts. Gratitude is the language of the heart. And in expressing it, we not only acknowledge the contributions of today, but cultivate the seed of a more appreciative and connected tomorrow. Thank you for being a vital part of this shared journey. Once again, thank you to all. As we express gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. John F. Kennedy, let's be grateful to the people who make us happy. They are the charming gardeners who make our soul blossom. Hereby, I solemnly announce this auspicious event gets an end. Thanks to one and all, happy and prosperous. New Year 2024. Now I request all to arise for the national anthem.